the SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run, the junior novelization. Chapter 6 Years later in Bikini Bottom, a clam stood on the town sign crowing as a new day began. Cock a doodle doo! In his pineapple house, SpongeBob was still sleeping, snoring away. Gary knew it was time to wake up. He climbed onto SpongeBob and said, Meow! SpongeBob kept on snoring. Gary slid across SpongeBob's face, leaving a sticky trail of slime. SpongeBob woke up. Oh, good morning, Gary! Then he felt something on his face. Ew, snail trail, yucky. He wiped the line of slime and thought again, but oddly soothing. The sun pouring in through the bedroom window caught SpongeBob's eye. He jumped out of bed, ran over to the window and flung it open. SpongeBob leaned out and called, good morning, Patrick. Patrick's rock house flipped open with its owner stuck to the bottom. Good morning, SpongeBob. Good morning, Patrick. SpongeBob repeated, Good morning, SpongeBob. Patrick said, enjoying drawing out his morning greeting. SpongeBob thought that was a good idea. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, SpongeBob. Patrick yodeled. Squidward's tiki head house sat between SpongeBob's pineapple and Patrick's rock. Today, he had made a point of getting up early so he could practice his clarinet in peace and quiet, but Spongebob and Patrick's yelling was disturbing his peace, as usual. He growled, annoyed. Good morning, Patrick! Spongebob called, experimenting some more. Squidward considered sticking his head out the window to yell at his noisy neighbors, but then sighed and put his clarinet back in his mouth. What was the point of yelling when he'd done it a million times before? Spongebob bounded down the stairs to his kitchen and poured a couple bowls of food for himself and Gary. Come on, Gary! Breakfast! Gary slid up to the bowl of snail food and sucked it down in one gulp. Burp! You're welcome, Spongebob said to his beloved pet. Gary loved his snail food. He was so happy. He turned over, lying on his shell with his tummy up, offering his belly to Spongebob. Aww! Spongebob said, reaching over to scratch his friend. Who loves a belly scratch? I love you so much, Gary. Meow, Gary said contentedly, savoring the attention. On the wall of the kitchen, a ship's clock chimed. Bong, bong, bong. Uh-oh, Spongebob said, looking up at the clock. I'm late if I'm going to be early. He always liked to be early for his job at the Krusty Krab. When you love your job as much as Spongebob loved his... You want your workday to start as early as possible. He hurried to the front door. Meow! Gary protested, not wanting Spongebob to leave. Aw, don't worry, Gare Bear! Spongebob reassured Gary as he opened the door. I'll be back before you can say, Why did he cruelly abandon me like that? He laughed at his own silly joke. Wham! Spongebob slammed his front door and rushed off to work. Gary's eyes welled up. Meow, he said sadly. Spongebob ran all the way to the Krusty Krab, chanting, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready! He opened the front door and hurried inside. After quickly assembling a punch clock, he inserted his time and ka -chunk! When he pulled it out of the clock, the car said, I'm ready. La 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 la! Spongebob sang happily to himself, heading into the kitchen. Squidward walked into the restaurant. He was in a bad mood. Another day, another migraine, he grumbled, plopping down behind the cash register. At least I'll get a little peace and quiet before that. Good morning, Squidward! Spongebob warbled, popping up right next to his co-worker. Gah! Squidward yelled, startled. And isn't this a lovely morning? Spongebob asked. Squidward frowned, folded his arms, and turned his back on the enthusiastic little fry cook. Nope. He growled, not talking to you, and I'm especially not getting involved in any of your nonsense today. I always end up with the wrong end of the stick. Okay, Squidward, Spongebob said pleasantly as he started to walk away. Squidward let out a big sigh of relief. But you should know, Spongebob added, old Gertrude's getting pretty finicky these days. Old Gertrude, Spon Squidward thought, am I supposed to know who that is? I know, I should just ignore him, but old Gertrude, Squidward couldn't help asking, who the kelp is that? 
SpongeBob was shocked. You've worked with her for years. She's the eight burner grill in the kitchen. Squidward rolled his eyes. It never ends! Ignoring Squidward's comment, SpongeBob went into the kitchen to prep his beloved grill. As he worked, he described to Squidward what he was doing through the ordered window. Anyway, he said, to fire her up, you've got to spark her flints manually and then jiggle her gas just, just a little and then read her favorite story, The Little Griddle Who Could. SpongeBob pulled out a well-worn book, turned to the page with a gray splatter bookmark, and started to read with a soothing voice. Chapter 2! But we're fresh and but we're fresh from the freezer, said the patties, and we're c c c c cold. Don't worry, I'll get you nice and warm, said the little griddle. Out by the cash register, Squidward was annoyed by SpongeBob's chatter. He turned and stuck his head through the order window. What did I just say? He barked. Don't involve me. And then kaboom. Stay tuned for chapter 7 coming up soon.